hey guys uh, let's create our first component now first let's create a folder called components in here i will create three folders one is called atoms i am using that folder to store all the small components like the smaller things like buttons input field like that so second one is cards it is like form card to do list those cards okay and to do item also we should add that one there third one is layout layout means uh, think like this left side has top navy bar middle content and footer or top navy bar left side and right side you know the dashboard so in this case we can create a layout for this okay we will pass props to the children that children will be uh, added to the right side content okay in the dashboard in here also we can see this is the top navy bar consider this is a top navy bar this is the side navy bar so we can create a layout when we add data to the layout it's only renders here it doesn't change any of these things okay that's what layout in does so i'm gonna create a layout so i hope you remember in our design there was a box in the middle see i'm gonna create a one call box middle layout okay here so in the background there is a gray color in the foreground there was a white color right so we will create two containers for those two all right guys before uh, designing our foreground and background i'm gonna create a new folder here i'm gonna create a folder called pages in that pages i'm gonna create a file for to do page.tsx psrfce okay now the reason i added a to do page because i haven't had routing in this project but when we add routing we will create pages for each and every route right so these pages will be inside this pages folder i just wanna show you how the real life works these things okay here yeah, i'm gonna import to do page all right now we only design to do page let's remove this app and in list of css this one okay now we need uh, this one okay i'm gonna get a prop called children c h i l t r e n then i'm um, this i'm gonna add the type of this prop it's called react not okay after i got that one i'm gonna pass it here so props dot children okay now here in the to do page i'm gonna import box middle layout i'm gonna add it to the close tag and i'm adding box okay see it's here but this is a component right i am passing children to this component everything that i put inside here i can type h1 and box it shows like that so everything i put here will be render, rendered inside in here okay now i can style this containers right so for now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna create a uh, container called background i'm gonna use style component to style okay style command i m e s c that's the shortcut okay mm, you can type this completely it will work okay now i have to type style dot div okay when i want to create a div i have to type div when i want to create a label i have to type label it works like that in this one i'm gonna type 
width 100 bw height 100 bh uh, b g c background color e e e okay uh, let's add overflow hidden and display flex uh, let's add justify content center that means we can center the div center the data within this div and uh, also add margin top like 50 pixel okay so you see this is a background right so what we can do here we add it like this so we don't add like do do class name equal background like that we just name the component as background okay so it now it considers a div because we add div in here okay so now we want a foreground right we don't have something like that here we're gonna add it G R I forgot R sorry. Now uh, this one don't take all the width, but this at the width of 380 pixel, height 600 pixel, background color is F F F F. -F. It means white. Okay, uh, let's remove these things. We don't need them all right now i can add props dot children here let's see what will be there hmm. all right i think margin top should add the foreground not the background sorry about that see now it works okay let's add the box shadow here box shadow 0 0 5 x d d d why uh, okay i am adding the box shadow to the wrong one let's add it to this i'm sorry about that one okay let's add the border radius 10 p x hmm. it's cool right so this is the app uh, this is the app container now when I type something in here and let's add anything you can add anything let's add p hello world it will be in here you see everything works perfect so this is how you create a layout all right that's it for today guys uh, thank you for watching I'll see you guys in the next one have a nice day